What's up, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be walking through how to train ChatGPT on your own writing style and real examples and case studies that you can use right now. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And welcome back. So let's go ahead and start the process of learning how to train ChatGPT on your own voice. So in order to prepare ChatGPT the right way, you're gonna go ahead and take a prompt. So so the best prompt to use right here is something along the lines, please learn my writing style from the following content. So we can go and add in anything like a blog post, social media posts, a YouTube video description, a YouTube video transcript. I recommend doing a YouTube video transcript, a blog post, and also social media posts so that you can, uh, yeah, train GPT the right way. So I am here on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and use my video, how do use chat GPT for SEO and content marketing scroll down click on these three dots here and click on show transcript then click on these three dots and toggle it and then let's go ahead and copy all of this info go back to chat GPT let's paste it in so I pasted it in and ChatGPT is just outputting some information. So it's going to save this for reference. So I just adjusted it. Please learn my writing style from more of my content. So now I'm going to go over to a blog post. So I have another blog post here for ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing. 12 ways to use ChatGPT for marketing. So I'm gonna copy all of this and I'm gonna paste it in here. All right, so I pasted that here in ChatGPT and now, yeah, it's putting out some uh, more information, basically creating a summary. What we wanna do is let's go ahead and grab this prompt again, paste it here, and let's go to my LinkedIn and grab the social media posts. So I have some uh, AI updates that I did recently, so I'm gonna copy and paste this right in here all right so there we go and again it's outputting <clears throat> more information so one of the next things that you can do from here is ask chat gpt to please analyze my writing style so i added in analyze my writing style based on this content i submitted to you so now it is saying based on the content i submitted here's some observations so we have concise and informative uh, use of emoji and visual elements enthusiastic tone list and headings hashtags call to action. I incorporate industry specific terminology. Yeah, that's right. Familiarity with AI related. Now, as you can tell, one really important thing to point out is I'm putting in a lot of information about ChatGPT and AI things. It's important to reinforce ChatGPT with uh, content or information that you want to create content for in that particular area. So like if I want to do really technical SEO information, I probably wouldn't be training this thread on my like AI content. I would go refer to some blog posts or ebooks or things that I've created with like really technical SEO information just so it has reference to that information. So one of the things you can do here now that we've basically trained this thread of ChatGPT on our writing style, we can ask it to create, you know, blog post content, social media content, video descriptions, uh, video script ideas. So yeah, and it will do that in your voice style. So I asked ChatGPT, create an email newsletter in my writing style, inviting people to a live webinar on the top. AI tools to use that really work. The event's launching July 15th. Webinar replay will be available later. Hey, I uh, hope this email finds you well. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It's definitely in um, a structure that I would say one of the important things, if you're going to be creating an email newsletter, I would recommend going into your email tool. You can go in there and train ChatGPT on your writing style from your newsletter. That's one thing I didn't do here, but I would recommend doing. So yeah, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and create a social media post about this. And yeah, exciting announcement. Join us for a live webinar. So there's probably a handful of changes I would make on the social media post, but it's really good. Um, I just need to go in here and make a few edits and then it's ready to go to either schedule or I can go ahead and copy and paste this in yeah my social media platform of choice. Now if something doesn't match your writing style just let ChatGPT know and say hey this doesn't match it can you reframe it to like this and give it an example. That's one of the things about ChatGPT and AI tools is it needs things to reference. So if you're telling the, the tool that it's not meeting some kind of example or some kind of framework that you want then feed it 
fit the framework that you want. It needs an example to be able to do that. Please experiment with this. You can kind of see an example here that I used to train ChatGPT on my writing style, but it definitely needs some experimentation. So go ahead and the more you reinforce this uh, ChatGPT thread, the better it's going to be. I have reinforced so many of my ChatGPT threads on a lot of the consulting, the marketing, the PPC, uh, pay-per-click ad campaigns that I'm running for businesses. So it's really, really powerful. I also have used it for like sales and legion, outreach kind of messages. It's really, really awesome. Uh, and if you haven't uh, yet, please like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming AI videos and digital marketing tech videos that I'm going to be releasing soon. Uh, if you have any questions about ChatGPT or about training it on your writing style, drop them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.